Good morning everybody, how are you all going? Here's Mr Choppy Dogs down having a look at the flowers and Mr Fish Hey, he just loves fish don't ya? I think he tries to lick them when they're under the water either that or he's trying to just you know taste what they what they taste like I don't know, look there they are oh, disappearing but uh, yeah, that's my day today. Ziggy and I have just been really, really busy. Um, I put the second whiz bang in right, right back here. So it does read a little bit different than the one in the shed because the one in the shed is placed, it's got another meter and a half of cabling in it. And the one in the shed is placed in the lights, Chris there for the first one okay anyway that being said um, it's now working correctly with this one this is uh, from the solar this one's putting only 2 amps in this one's putting 20 amps in uh, here's the time by the way it's uh, quarter to 11 in the morning and we're already at 100 percent and it is a cloudy overcast day um, all I've got to do now is I've got some shielded cables coming from the classics to the computer and we're going to replace these radiol cables that I put in there because they're what I had laying around and that now I've still got to get rid of that great big clunky inverter in the bottom. I'm going to take that off the wall and put it down the shed just to tidy all this up because I don't need it. These inverters are so reliable. I, I've, you know, apart from the first hiccup when they were installed, I haven't had a problem with them. Touch wood. Um, I've switched the fans out because they've been on the walls for, for a few years now running my house these um, MPP solar ink inverters with the Giant Power brand name I don't think Giant Power stocks or sells these anymore I think they lost the um, contract I'm not sure what, what the go is there I've got no idea what's going on um, okay now we ran the wires as you can see like the uh, wire to the whiz bang and the two temperature sensor wires now run all the way in that uh, cable duct so once the covers are on that'll look great there's some more dead ants over there to add to me dead ant collection see them on top there and um, that's why I spray my walls uh, twice a year with that surface spray that lasts about six months so basically we're going to get rid of that big black unit and put it down the shed for a spare I was um, tossing up whether or not to uh, mount a couple of capacitors down there just to um, uh, play with um, I don't know if I'll do that or not you know it was just something I've been tossing around in my mind but the only cable I got running up there now is a, a ground wire everything else is going to be hidden in this ducting there they go, we'll go back into the shed you can see it there into the uh, shed, into the uh, battery cabinet everything comes back in here and of course that's where I keep all my little tools that I need to do any work so that's basically it people should work well um, the positive cables on the shunts are a different length of course they have to be so they're not going to be um, they're going to be within a couple of uh, percent of each other I hope we're still going off this one as a main state of charge this one's just a sexy looking second one now And that computer, I mean, that just looks, that, that just gets rid of all that junk that was nailed to the other bit of wood there. Um, 
That just looks so much neater. Yeah, there now, I'm amazed. Um, yeah, the power supply for this goes through the wall, of course, into the 12 volt box. Many of you know I have a 12 volt fuse box out here. That's what this is. Excuse the insects and the spiders. But there we go. That's at 11.9 volts, my 12 volt side. It's all fused and everything. But uh, we, we don't tend to worry about spider webs because when it's nest building time, they all disappear. All the little sparrows come in and just collect all the spider webs and spiders and um, we don't really like spraying. Look at all those little white moth butterflies over there. We don't really like spraying around our house, but I do spray in here. I, I use a surface spray to stop ants and um, other, other creepy crawlies from getting in the inverters and the charge controllers. Alright, so that bottom inverter is just too heavy for me to move. I've got to wait for my uh, big strong friend with a good back to come down and shift that for me. Geez, they're heavy. Move all the covers back on. Looks a lot neater on that wall. Still got a bit of work to do over there. Like I say, get rid of that bottom inverter. But that looks a lot neater. Under under these will neaten up when I get rid of this lump. Uh, that wire, that cable there. Oh, here's one here. That's just the um, programming cable. I just leave that plugged in. So I don't have to take the faces off all the time all right. to do enjoy any Enjoy your day, evening, night, whatever it is. Keep safe and enjoy life. Bye for now.